come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast coming at you every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, in our quest for total world domination, complete. which you complete, complete, complete world, total. complete and total world domination, which yes. you can help us out with yes. by going over to wherever you found us and hitting that like or subscribe button or smashing that bell. Smash that. <laughs> smash that bell. Uh, I love Colin catching up to YouTube speak <laughs> yeah, yeah. like 20 right, years Right, we finally got in there. Yeah. She's like, oh, we make money from the smash that bell. Yeah. I used to hit, say, well, I, the smash that bell, I, I haven't, yeah, because I thought it was just you hit that bell, ring the bell, or whatever. Yeah, so that's all yeah, YouTube just, stuff. Smash yeah. it. All of it. Smash that Punch bell. it, smash it. Yeah. All right, well, who are these people <laughs> who are talking to you? They are the internet radio superstars. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Colin, and tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by Colin. Colin. What do we watch tonight? All right, so I'm going to, okay, you ready for this? You ready for this? Well, I don't, were we? I don't know. Alice Cooper. Ah. Uh, right? All right, I'm on all right yes. Yeah. All right, ingredient In one. a werewolf horror movie. Right. Liar, but Loving okay. It. Loving Monster it. Dog. <laughs> Liar. Yeah. <laughs> You're a liar, Colin. The way these things are on paper, I like. Yeah. like right, yeah. When you say it like that, I'm like, yep. The, I'm our in. movies on paper are great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It sounded uh, like a good idea. Well, was it? I don't know. You're going to find out. I don't know. Yeah. From the year uh, 1985. 85, 84, 86. Like, yeah, we're not around a little bit. Shot in 84, released in 85 or 86. Copyright in 86, according yeah. to Amazon. 80, yeah, but 85 on the movie. That's what we're going with. Right, all right. So 85. Yeah. Directed by anybody well okay so the guy uh the the credit is it's written and directed by clyde anderson but that Mm. is an alias because we are coming from the period in foreign filmmaking (laughs) where they would take aliases to to do american uh movies so odds are his name is claudio his (laughs) name is claudio Fragrasso, which we have watched at least one of his movies on this show it sounds very familiar and that would be night killer oh yep uh, but yeah. he is also known worldwide and renowned as directing the best worst movie of all time, which is Troll Two. Oh, did he love it? Yeah. Okay, okay so you kinda, royalty. <laughs> you know what you're getting. I feel if I uh, now I have not seen that movie. I feel if I ever watch that movie, I'm going to be disappointed because it's been labeled that. For and you've probably a good seen like time. the same two scenes from it probably. all the time. Yeah. And I mean, you know, you've seen other Claudia Fergrasso movies yeah. at this point. So I mean, that's kind of what you're getting with Troll yeah. Two. All it's right. like yeah, a yeah, yeah. kid friendly, you know, whatever Gremlins rip off. Yeah, right. Um, and uh, Sean will be interested to hear this, but oh. Claudio Fergrasso, um, before he became a director, he was a writer and he worked a lot with Bruno Mattei. Oh, I love yeah. Bruno Mattei. Yeah, because he directed- A very, f- a very famous Italian ripoff artist <laughs> who did many things. Uh, does he have something to do with Cruel Jaws? He did. Yeah! He did Cruel Jaws. Yeah! <laughs> I was yeah. hoping it was Cruel Jaws. <laughs> it's always been on the list. And Shocking Dark. I shocking am Shocking Dark. dark. Yeah, okay. It so always comes <laughs> back to God bless him. So these are the guys who are I the crazy. I was ahead trust. of my time. I just did not have the print <laughs> to back me up Bring on it that. Back and prove it. I think. I think so. I did not have the the good looking print. We're film. probably hitting close to five years on that one, right? Shocking Colin's Dark like, Terminator Two. Oh yeah. god, that was one of the worst movies I think that we only. Watched. All right, I I still say only because we had a shit print of it from you. What isn't there a Blu-ray? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. no, yeah. it is yeah. in yeah. crisp HD now. Yeah, and this one here looked pretty good tonight. Just we were kind of worried. Just despite you, Sean. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> I think they did. After They're just we like, watch it, they it, it was like a HD. year later. Yeah. They were just like HD yep. clearness. Shocking Dark. Yeah. Yeah. See, Go back and listen to that episode, yeah. Yeah, you listen yeah. to everybody fucking roast me for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we're not far off that. I may get roasted for an hour for bringing this movie tonight. Uh, so this is, uh, it's an Italian-Spanish co-production. Yes. Which basically means the Italians are the money behind it, mm-hmm. and the Spanish are all the crew. Is all the crew. Yes. Yeah. So uh, Italian money, Spanish crew, and then Alice Cooper starring, which means it's going to be dubbed. <laughs> but he's not dubbed by himself. He should. It, yeah. He should be. Why? Uh, why, why not? For that? Yeah. Well, what is okay? How did? I have a lot of questions. <laughs> yeah. Alice Cooper, as yes. far as movie making goes, how did he get involved with this? Like, what led him to making a movie in 1986? So, why, did he feel like that was his next venture? 
Like, what are we? Are we coming off something big for him? Uh, we're coming off of uh, alcohol rehabilitation detox. Ooh. Checked himself into a sanitarium for oh. a while. Wrote, did a couple of albums while okay, he yeah, are, you sure. know based on the experiences. They're some of the As worst that he ever did. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, because just was, to prove that drugs and alcohol are the <laughs> fucking fuel for rock right. and roll. Well, he's become like uh, since then, right? Like ever since he got sober, yeah. he actually is known as basically, I think, within the music industry, as one of the guys that other artists will call up nice and be mm-hmm. like you know i got this problem and he you know helps him out with it i um, love that dual image of him so what yeah, yeah okay so what what you were saying that during the movie like what do we what do we think of we think alice cooper alice cooper i think from uh as far as i've been alive and as far as uh as long as my dad has been describing alice cooper to me like there was always uh alice cooper was always grandiose he was always theatrical he was always chopping people's heads off on stage yeah that's how i've always known alice cooper and then later on like he i would see him show up in movies like wayne's world and yeah. Shit like mm-hmm. that. yeah yeah so he was a, always just comedic like, side of alice he, cooper right <laughs> yeah but he was he always had this very like scary background to me yeah there was always a, a big thing about him that did i grew up saying did i ever tell you guys i think i did uh i mean like alice cooper's like one of my all-time you know right. heroes but colin uh, once made us go through i think five alice cooper songs down here one night <laughs> when we were playing rock band he's like no this is my time yeah, this is it i'm yeah, singing like, all <laughs> of them it was a couldn't moment. believe that they had a um, <laughs> right when i was a uh, wee lad of only I don't know how old I mean I had to be like five or something like that but this oh. is one of my earliest memories right Damn. he used to watch the Muppet Show <laughs> and yes. there was an episode of the Muppet Show you know you'd watch the thing every week and it was fine and, you know uh, Mark Hamill being on mm-hmm. one week or uh, you know Crystal Gale or something <laughs> like that and then there was this week where. Like the whole set's all spooky. There's ghosts dancing around, and a coffin Ooh, opens the Halloween up. Episode. And this guy sits up, and he's got these black, you know, like uh, you know, spider eyes. And I was like, I couldn't even take it. And I remember my parents had to turn <laughs> off the TV because I was so scared. And then after a little while, I wanted it to turn back on. It turned back on. It was still on. It wasn't until like I don't know, twenty years later, <laughs> that I was able to track down that episode. And he was it was Alice Cooper doing Welcome to My Nightmare and all that. When you watch it now, it's goofy as hell. Right. right you know, right. like Statler and Waldorf are ghosts that are floating around in the. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. I love that. <laughs> yeah. But and I didn't know who he was, you know, yeah. until around the time of, you know, obviously he'd heard schools out and all that. But I don't think I'd ever made the connection mm-hmm. until um he did the theme song to Friday the 13th, part six, mm-hmm. Jason Lives. Uh, he's Previous back. The, uh, yep. yep. Mm-hmm. And then I was like all into Alice Cooper. Who is this guy? And went back and found out like, you know, Alice Cooper was huge in the 1970s mm-hmm. uh, after he left. Like, so there was a band and then he went on his own. That was the whole Welcome to My Nightmare tour and all that stuff. Got huge. Well, then, you know, would do things with... Um, he was on like the Hollywood squares and all that. <laughs> his career, I think, was like, you know, tapering off because of the alcoholism uh, was, you know, kind of derailing where he was going. And to the point where he quit, kind of, and retreated, actually checked himself into a rehab place, which the, he says was a, an asylum. But I don't know. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> werewolves live here. Yeah. And so this was as he was coming out. So this was basically him testing himself to see if he could still work sober. This is one of those stories. So then he got cast in an Italian horror movie. (laughs) Now he tells it. He says that, you know, he was like, so is this going to like play in theaters? And they're like, no, no, (laughs) this is probably something that's going to end up on, on videotape. And he's like, perfect. Because I guess what he did, you know, on tour, Alice Cooper is a huge horror movie fan. Like he like, you know, horror movies and horror books and all. He's an expert on, uh, if you couldn't tell. Yeah. And so to be in a horror movie, I'm sure it was like a oh, great yeah. dream. And since he's been in what Prince of Darkness, uh, yeah. John Carpenter's movie, he Freddy's used pieces uh, of this on tour. I'm convinced mm-hmm. he had to have. Like people do this. I wonder. Yeah, I've never seen him use this stuff, but mm. you know, it seems like maybe back, like back in the day when his first, like when he got back into music and everything, he's just like ah. Yeah, well, his uh, big return was the Nightmare Returns tour, which I think is still seen as like one of the best uh, like Alice Cooper concert uh, performances. That was 86. 
And I mean, it's the same. I've seen him a bunch of times now. Yeah, his, same. I was like, I don't awesome. even remember how many times I've seen him at this point. Probably like six or seven. Because he just always comes through this area, it seems like. They're yeah. Very available. But um, so growing up, my dad was really big into Alice Cooper and kind of talks about him like he's like related to him almost. Like he's someone he knows and is like, it's a very one-sided parasocial relationship my dad has with Does he Alice call him Cooper. by his first name? Yeah, well, in my, not necessarily, is but like. real name? No. no. Okay. Um, but... And my dad kind of always raised us with this idea of like the duality of Alice Cooper is that like he has this like really alternative kind of provocative stage presence and mm. characterism, but he's just this really nice normal guy. Like yeah. that's that's the real Alice Cooper's this a guy that loves golf and lives in Scottsdale. I think I've like, kind of grown up with that. Yeah, image that's, of that's him. how I've I always the golf thought of stuff. him. Yeah, well, so <laughs> like fucking Alice Cooper in golf all attire. white, all yeah. white golf yeah, attire, yeah, yeah. but with the black long hair, black hair. Yes, yes. yeah. Yes. Yes. So I've met that's him twice. Too, yes, I met him once at a convention. And I met him once at a charity golf tournament in Scottsdale. <laughs> so yes, and it is like he's just a very normal person. Right. Like, he's yeah. Just really like, and then when I worked um, at Barnes and Noble, he came shopping at our store while I was working too. I didn't ring him out, but I saw him in the store when he was here in town for a tour. That was probably seven or eight years ago. So it's probably the most recent time I've seen him, but that's the, I I always grew up like with that idea that like, he's just a normal guy and this is his stage Mm -hmm. performance. And it's the two sides. Yeah. Well, he even refers to Alice, you know, Mm -hmm. cause I remember his daughter Calico Cooper was saying like when she would grow up, you know, she'd see her dad on TV Mm -hmm. like there's Alice, you know, Mm -hmm. (laughs) it's like that persona is like a a separate, you know, thing from him. Yeah. No, he was born. His name is uh, Vincent Fernier. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, that's why we go with Vincent. Yes. This movie. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they were, you know, it's not much of a stretch nope. to play. So Doesn't he, feel like it. Do you yeah. think he took that welcome Vince banner and kept it? You know, since like it applies to got to be in storage yeah. somewhere. <laughs> yeah, guaranteed. Well, he is in this movie. A- it'll be strung across his funeral. <laughs> like, welcome <laughs> yeah. to heaven. Well- or hell. <laughs> Wherever you want to go, Alice. Well, now I'm just kind of sad that the time I met him at a horror convention, he didn't have that, like, a banner like that right? at his that'd table. Be, that'd be yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, that's why I, I know that there's a Blu-ray of this out, and I know that he... I haven't seen it, but I know that he's interviewed on it. You know, um... So I'm curious, like, where this exists in his, like, you know, does he talk about this movie? Yeah, what does he right. think like, of this? I'm curious. Yeah. Because, I mean, this is a leading role, right? Yeah. I mean, this was, mm-hmm. that, I guess that's the appeal of this to the Alice Cooper fan is like, this is Alice Cooper as the main character in this movie, yes. you know, um, where he plays a character named Vincent Raven. Who's a rock star. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So no, 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 it's uh, so much of a stretch. Not so much of a stretch, <laughs> but... <laughs> I'm okay with him not stretching yeah, and doing this. That's fine. Yeah. Like, I don't expect the stretch from him. Well, I know that we had uh, a, a trouble because obviously he's dubbed by, um, you know, if you watch a lot of these uh, Italian Spanish movies of this period, there's a certain voice cast. There are 20 people who voice yeah. all of the Italian or, <laughs> and this, or Spanish movies from the 70s, 80s. This guy sounds like john ham put through like oh. ai voice speech you know like it kind of has a weird stutteriness to his like i don't know if it's a translation thing or what but sometimes the inflection is just weird on dubbing you know it's always and it sounds like to, ai yeah they're trying to nail like the pauses in the yeah. actors you know when yeah. you're looking at right. it and it's just sometimes yeah right. dubbing so, never really right they're they're trying to nail well. the pause but they how they're speaking doesn't line up the with structure that. of the sentence right. doesn't, they will yeah. split a sentence right but not but just in sentence form, not right. in inflection, what have you. Right. Yes. Yeah. It's like when you're reading out loud and you don't know a sentence is a question and you get to the end <laughs> right. of it and you have to kind of trail upwards to make it sound like yeah. a right. question. Yeah. It's yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hate, fucking hate that. But uh, it's too bad that you don't actually get his, his voice. Yeah. And, and yeah. we said before, if you listen to other of these episodes, these international co-productions, they, they record it silent and then just dub everything in for whatever country they were going to later. Right. Um, but he does, um, you do hear his voice on two songs, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, one called identity crisis mm-hmm. and the other see me in the mirror, uh, that are performed of course. Cause if you're going to have Alice Cooper in your movie, you're going to have music videos. You would think the only thing is by the time I saw this movie, what an Alice Cooper song sounded like was more, you know, hard rock. Absolutely. Yeah. These are pretty soft. Yeah. songs yeah. Yeah. yeah but in the end it's uh, in the Easy end credit listening. it says that they're done by alice written by alice cooper and it's yeah. like well because he's a lyricist he's yeah. not like uh you know 
I know the lyrics on Identity Thief, you know, so I'm like, oof, I don't know about this. Yeah. This is corny as shit. <laughs> yeah. Music videos making it even yeah. cornier. Like, yeah. Well, this is how we start the movie. So what do we, what do we say? This is the a corny we get into 80s it. music video. Like it's, it's like not in an Alice Cooper way, but in a corny 80s, like pop video way. Like he's talking about how in his identity crisis, he's Jack the Ripper and uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes and Billy the Kid. Billy yeah. the kid and yeah, he's, he's in all stuff. of these costumes. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. And it seems like they filmed in a garage or something like that. Tight close ups of all these guys. Yeah, yeah, because we're all dressing you from here to here. Yep, we only have a shirt and a yep, hat to put on you. So. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yep. it's, it's not it's good. Not it's, good. Not, it's not a good uh, kickoff to your nope. movie. Yeah, no. it's hard to take it seriously. We gotta stretch this music video budget for an entire film. <laughs> Alice Cooper in like a Sherlock outfit, hat, fucking magnifying glass, like looking at a woman on an '80s car is just. I how am I supposed to take that seriously? <laughs> yeah, no. He looks like a cartoon. Like yeah, it, yeah. It, and he's Jack the Ripper, you know, yeah. like in the back seat, and then he's yeah. Billy the Kid shooting. You yeah, know, he's a cowboy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And this yep. is uh, it's like short hair, Alice Cooper, which yeah. is also like. Like uh, I mean, he's got like he's a mullet like, or something Sean, going on. What did on, you but... say he looked like? Hmm. Do you not remember? Nope. What did he look like? You said oh. he looked like someone. Yeah, you said he looked like Kevin, Kevin Nealon. Nealon. Oh yeah, he yeah. does. He yeah. looks like Kevin Nealon. Yeah. yeah. Anybody knows Kevin Nealon? I'm just like oh, <laughs> interchangeable. The same at this point. hair. The same yeah, oh, like same hair. Like even most of yeah. the same face, nose, yeah. and everything. Like yeah. if you put Kevin Nealon in Alice Cooper makeup, I'll be you. You wouldn't be surprised. They could do like uh, a Step Brothers movie. Height difference is the only thing. I'm pretty sure that Alice Cooper's pretty short. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, he is. He's really small. Yeah, um, man, man, man is still out. He's got to be like 70, some yeah. closing in on 80. And yeah. he's out there doing, doing these shows. Doing like, great yeah. shows. Yeah. yeah. Great yeah. shows. I know. I remember I went with a, a friend of mine who was really big into Marilyn Manson and hadn't really, you know, seen a lot of Alice Cooper. Mm-hmm. And we went to a show and like Cooper blew Marilyn Manson away. Everyone like, <laughs> blows Marilyn Manson away. Yeah. Point. Well, yes. and Alice Cooper walks so Marilyn Manson could run. Like mm-hmm. you wouldn't have Marilyn Manson without Alice Cooper. So. Yeah. Or Kiss probably. Right. right? I mean, like exactly. any of those guys. Probably, yeah. Um, so after the music video, the music video, we're treated to. We're going to get a, a movie about a Volkswagen full of kids heading out into the Spanish countryside K- to go to a kids. cabin. Right. Yes. Okay. Depends on your definition of kids. Mid 40s. Kid, yeah, I was kids, you said then. kids. I'm like, where were their kids? <laughs> oh, well, because the sheriff. Young adults. Yeah. The sh- okay. The sheriff. So they're. But they're, I would say this is not even young. Some of them are just middle adults. Aged. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Alice Cooper was pushing forty, I think, at the time. Yeah. And he's, he's supposed the, to be like twenty five or something. He feels like the dad of the yeah. group. Yeah. 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 Well, we were trying to figure out the time here because uh, a very in quick, short order as they're so they're going to his family home. They okay. don't say where they are, no. but obviously it's a foreign. Co- it's not America. <laughs> no. They're off to a, a their, his family home where they're planning to shoot the next music video. Yes. So this is the crew i guess yeah um but basically i mean this is the evil dead setup right it's the uh, the teens in the van or you know the car go into the cabin in the woods in this right. case it's a big old uh spanish uh house yes what was the one movie we watched where they all went to the farm if you film music video and then oh, turn into rock and roll nightmare yeah 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 same rock and roll nightmare yeah um so they run into the sheriff um oh crap i can't remember that actor's name i pointed him out it was richard uh wasn't it ricardo something anyway he's he's a guy <laughs> who like that guy i've seen in other he was in night of the werewolf the other spanish uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that was like the mystery one right we, we haven't done that one yet i don't night of the think. werewolf yeah night of what the was werewolf. curse of the werewolf curse of the werewolf did. yeah yes the Paul Nashy movie, yep. which will probably come to the show at some point. Um, when we get into Spanish werewolf movies, there's yeah. Paul Nashy, right? <laughs> um, he but, looks like a Spanish werewolf. Yeah, but that, that guy, he was in uh, The Sheriff, right? Like, he mm. was in, uh, you know, Sergio Leone, like the, the old Eastwood uh, westerns. I mean, he's Makes sense. been around that long. For what this movie turns into. Yeah, right. Yeah, which we didn't see coming. No. Um, so anyway, the sheriff warns these travelers, these youngsters, because he says kids. That's where I got it from. He's yes. like, hey, you kids, mm-hmm. uh, you know, you're getting up to all people are kids to a sheriff. So what's uh, what's going on? What's our main threat in this movie that the sheriff informs us of? A pack of wild dogs has killed five people, five people. And they're just like, yep, it's that time of year again where the wild dogs <laughs> yeah, come out to kill the people. dogs are out like they're not. <laughs> Sean, who let them out? <laughs> 
That is the eternal question. That is the thesis of this movie, isn't it? That is the eternal question. Who let the dogs out? Yeah. Yeah, because I guess... uh, I will not play along with your game. You know, (laughs) because I'm sitting here at this point in the movie. We're fairly early on, and you're like, okay, at some point a movie has to establish its stakes, right? So correct me if I'm wrong. What did we see first? There is a caretaker. We're told that Joss, Joss? Mm -hmm. the caretaker... This is is the old man? He's waiting at the... Well, there's two old men in this movie. This This is my problem. They're kind of interchangeable. But there's Joss is the caretaker of the the Roberts, because... Vincent Raven. Raven has changed his name. He's actually Vincent Roberts. Okay. So the Roberts so estate, estate. Okay. Uh, has Joss the caretaker, and at some point, I believe Joss comes downstairs to investigate a strange noise, and he opens the front door, and there is a bunch of German shepherds. <laughs> German shepherds. There's a Doberman Pinscher in there. There's like a scruffy there's little a, like there's terrier. There's a shaggy yeah. dog. Yeah. yeah. There yeah. might be a small terrier. Yeah. It. it looks like a scene. Where like in like Homeward Bound or something like the entire shelter would get let loose. Oh yeah, so they it's have the to gang, have an assortment it's the gang of dogs. Of dogs. Yeah, yes. the, but it's like the, it's like they have to have one of each type of dog, you know, for diversity and for visual, I'm sure, stimuli. But like, yeah, yeah it is like a perfect assortment of like movie dogs. Yeah, <laughs> it, it did feel like we have eight German shepherds. We need more. Well, uh, <laughs> we can dirty up some other dogs <laughs> yeah. to hide behind them. Yes. Yeah. But we but have these, eight German shepherds. These terriers going to look at the camera every goddamn time. Yeah, yeah these sure are not, does, not yeah. movie dogs. Yeah. They're like rescues or so. Who, who knows? Yeah. But they are like... I mean, I guess they're somewhat trained because they're, some of them yeah. sit. They can sit. They all stare it. directly at yeah. the camera when they're not supposed to be looking at it. Mm-hmm. Um, they do other things as, during the course of the movie. They, they like, do enough. Yeah. Did you guys see the stuff about the dog in Prey? About the dog actor from Prey? No. I should say? Yeah, that from, dog was adapted from a shelter oh, yeah. in Atlanta. Oh, uh, no, thought, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. In Atlanta, because where, where they were filming, basically, they but they went and that dog has like no film training. They just adapted it from the shelter and used it in the movie because they wanted that specific like look of dog. Yeah. Yeah. And look how good it's doing. I know, it's and I know like a star is born. A star that is, is born. That, uh, that is just like, I'll do whatever you want. Yeah. Get me out of this fucking kennel. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it worked. But like that dog did a lot in that movie, yeah. especially yeah. for not being a like film set trained yeah. dog. Yeah. That's crazy. Good trainer. Yeah. This movie, no trainer. N- Apparently, no. Are no. not experienced uh, or something. There's someone with a bag of treats standing off camera. That's it. Yeah. That's because. <laughs> I mean, you're supposed to get that Joss is in danger walking out into this <laughs> pack of, you know, uh-huh. uh, uh, cuddly looking uh, <laughs> dogs it's, it's, all it, sitting there. It reminded me of the scene in um, Sleepwalkers where all the cats are in the yard. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's horrifying. Yeah, and it's just like those cats are clearly all like, tied down. <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking saying, at the one house. leg yeah. tied to the ground, yeah. staked in there. I'm just like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we never see what happens to Jaws. Uh, the the, the assumption is that there's a bunch of... Because I think one of them, one, one of the of dogs growls. is growling. Yeah. They got the one yeah. dog that will actually growl yep. on command. Um, <laughs> so, but, but he's actually just smiling. He's yeah. Like, there's peanut butter in his yeah, teeth. Right, yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, he's a treat. Oh. But so that happened before they met the sheriff uh, on the way up to, you know, because sheriff is basically the harbinger, right? Uh, yeah, on, of course. On the road as they go. In, I mean, this is classic. <laughs> and so, but so we stay with the sheriff and the deputy uh, and they are stalked through the woods or at least, a, you know, like a five foot square foggy yeah. shrouded set Very by foggy. a monster dog. <sighs> yep. Uh, liar. Uh, the, at least the puppet head of one. A monster ish dog. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, at this so point. Is it, this is the monster dog of the monster dog movie. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Like, this uh, is, I thought it, you were asking. I'm like, well, wow. I just want to know. I am asking. <laughs> I am very much asking. So <laughs> this is. That's the monster the, dog. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's all? Well, I mean, it, it it's not too bad in this scene, but this scene is like where I was like, uh-oh, we're, we're in trouble here because... This is your first monster dog instance. Yeah, but the way that they're shooting it, it's like, oh, they don't have, they don't have cutaway coverage. Right. Because you know, they only have close-ups on the sheriff and the deputy, and they don't have the, the cutaways to yeah. what they're actually going into. So they have one shot of the bush, right? 
They go back to that shot of the bush a lot. It's all they have. Yeah, yep. it's three times at least from what I remember. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and then uh, the sheriff is killed silently. We yep, right next to his partner. Body, and then the monster dog attacks, and we actually do see the monster dog head go roar into the camera. <laughs> it like, lurches, yeah. Yeah, and we're like, okay, all right, there's something. There is. Right? We didn't really get a look at it. Nope. But it's there. Yeah. I don't there's know if it's a, a dog. It's some kind of a monster. It seems bigger than, like, slightly larger than a dog. Yeah. Does it have hair? Exaggerated. Know. It's slimy. It's got, and yeah. It yeah. feels like a head. Yeah. That's it. There you go. So there's some kind of monster. All yes. right. So we've established there is a we've monster on the it. prowl. We have. And now we're not going to see it for the next 40 minutes. It's going to do a lot of slow walking through rooms. Yeah, we got a lot of other and, stuff yeah. to do, and we don't have time for this dog in this movie called Monster Dog. Yeah. Because there became a point where I think all of us were going like, okay. Because mm-hmm. I was sitting there thinking. So they get to the house, right? And yeah. I Welcome, guess- Vincent. Welcome, Vincent. Right, because the saddest welcome banner, <laughs> right, for to this, ever grace a this television very screen. Sad yeah. house. Like, well, oh. I mean, it's it's Joss by himself, old guy. Went up and hung <laughs> Man, that it, it banner took him above the two door. weeks to hang that. Banner. Yeah. Oh yeah. How did he uh, not die doing that? Yeah. And Michaela, says, I think he did die. Yeah, doing that. Think- it's the original banner that like uh, oh, was hung no, up for no, one of thirty Vince's years ago. Oh, party. No. It's been there for yeah. Uh, I would have loved an eight yard been, line about that. That would have been better. It's like that banner's been hanging up there for thirty years <laughs> yeah. since the last incident. Yeah. <laughs> well, isn't there actually? Yeah, as we were trying to figure out like uh, Alice Cooper's age, because the uh, the sheriff says, "I bet you remember me, boy," and he's like, "Oh." Sheriff I'm so like, that so. man is younger than you. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to believe that there is an adult child relationship ever between these two here yeah, because they, they look the same age. Yeah, they should have made that sheriff way older. Yeah, because yeah. that is a younger yeah. man. Because we're pegging it, I think, in the script, Alice Cooper's supposed to be like 25 years old. Yeah. He says, 20 years ago, I used to sit on your knee and pee all over you. Yeah. Uh, you had yeah. a bladder bigger than Niagara Falls or yep. whatever. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, like, and, to, and to see both these actors at the age, they are just like, wow, that was really weird back then. Yeah, it was jarring, yes. <laughs> a 16-year-old just sitting on a 15-year-old's lap, <laughs> pissing everywhere. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so they get in the house and then Joss is nowhere to be seen. This house is a big gothic mansion. Yes. Think Resident Evil, except the Spanish version. I w- yes, exactly. Because it's got an upstairs second level with that, uh, that banister and like outside hallway that goes all the way around yes. the square, yep. which is yep. pretty fun. And there's also an attic, which we weren't sure if it had a roof. It could be the roof. It's a chicken coop. It It's like... The top of a Pueblo house, but yeah, like where we, there's chicken coop up there. Do we know where this was? I, but like twenty foot high walls, like yeah. yeah. But they never tilt up, so yeah, we you never, never see if it's no. open. It could be it like a like solarium where there's glass, but it's hard to tell. You yeah, know? it didn't feel like it, but it does feel like it. Like oh, we're outside now. And this is a key location. Yep. <laughs> in this movie, this <laughs> well, chicken coop chicken, attic, yeah, chicken wire, yeah. and all. Yeah. So the band, the band, the band. I'm gonna say yeah, there's no the band. band. Like it's just him singing. Yeah, right? it's like, his film crew for yeah. his music video yeah. and his girlfriend. Yep. Um, her name I can't even remember what it was. Ab- Abigail was the girl in the white dress later on. Is it okay? And there was Justin and Frank. Well, you got more and, than uh, I did. Yeah, I, can't <laughs> yeah, I got her no- name. I ooh, yeah, I got nothing on her. Uh, I would have called her Vicky, point, but that there was a Mary Lou, yeah. right? Yeah, you're right. I don't have the main no. the girlfriend. We're just yeah. gonna call her the girlfriend. The girlfriend, uh, okay. Guess. That's fine. Um so they uh move into the house and uh um there is a <laughs> and uh, automatically fog starts rolling in. Yeah, this is a very and foggy low movie. moon. Allegedly, it's a low moon week. Allegedly her name was Sandra. Never heard that said no, movie. Never, never heard that. Sandra. Sandra. Okay. Yeah. Never Played by that. uh Victoria Vera. Yeah. Or something Maybe like that. that's why yeah. I think Vicky. Um, yeah, you because know, there needs to be a Victoria in this movie. I guess it they got an like, Abigail. Yeah. This is like you know, uh, yeah. There's there's banisters. Uh, yes. There's big giant staircases. Staircases with railings and everything. There's probably high chandeliers in this place. A woman again, at some point comes down the stairs with a oil lantern. Uh, there's yes. a candelabra in the Just foreground. Like a house. Okay. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. okay, ho- and fog. horror movies need more fog. of this. Yeah, yeah. and, and yep. fog. All right, it feels like very much like an Alice Cooper music video yeah. at this point yeah they're going for the gothic yeah but I like a low budget version because yeah. like i've seen his music videos have more grandiose yeah. oh, yeah, than this yeah, yeah. you oh, know yeah. big lights in the background mm-hmm. shining through windows and shit yeah the very 80s 80s mm-hmm. gothic but mm-hmm. i appreciate okay they're oh, yeah. doing i like the gothic stuff and yeah. like okay it's fun it looks cool 
At some point, Sandra <laughs> asks uh, Vincent, what's going on with this whole thing? Because uh, the, the, the sheriff was talking about your dad, and there was yep. this whole thing about your dad. And so he's like, okay, fine, I'll tell you. The history of my dad. And he's like, <laughs> my dad, they thought he was a werewolf. All like, right. Oh. Yeah. And uh, at some point, like, he went crazy. There's a disease of the heart that causes a person to run around howling at the moon and tearing up chickens. And they caught my dad. <laughs> and the villagers came with pitchforks and they pitchforked him to death. And then they coated him with gasoline and they set him on fire. And you're like, <laughs> 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 yep. Jeez. Is this, is this how heart disease kills 50% of Americans right. in this country? Is this how this works? Mm. Okay. It, it escalated so quickly from heart it disease did. to like being tarred and feathered. Like, like yeah. damn. All right. Yeah. So it's like, okay. And you wanted to come back home. And uh, yeah. all right. Um, yeah. It's a thing for you. Because. I guess what I was missing, like I was sitting there going like, okay, how's this movie shaking out? It's, there was a, a scene where, um, they hear, they hear, for some reason he got shotguns. Everybody gets shotguns at some point right. in this movie. And he had to go out checking, uh, to see what was up. And I'm like, this is the scene usually, oh, they had gone out and they find the monster dog. Remember the, the they, they find they the dog shot in the bush. a music video at this point before they had the shotguns. Uh yeah, but Bef- no, because they no they hadn't shot the music. This is still like the first night or something. Okay. They got there because okay. I was like, this is the scene where he has to get bit by a werewolf <laughs> for a werewolf movie to happen. Sure, but they do. They get into the into the woods and they see like this monster dog puppet head pops up out of a bush. And they're like, ah, and they run, <laughs> and that's it. And we're like, okay, yeah. yeah, there should be something. Yeah. So then if we're going to question because we're going to question this throughout the rest of the movie. It's just like right. Alice Cooper's involvement in this. Yeah. Is he, the, as, is he a werewolf? Right. Or, you know, yeah. There is going to be that question. But we're also like not given a few parts to this. Or yeah. just like, eh? So now we know his dad was a maybe a werewolf. Right. Sure. What does that have to do with him? But we find out from the town crier. Right. <laughs> Uh, because on their way there, well, it was a home. Mm-hmm. They hit a a a, a, a Dober, or no, sorry, a German Shepherd. Yep. And as they're out inspecting the corpse, well, of the dog, which Alice Cooper has to brain with a. Why uh, did he? Why was that necessary? Especially it? if the dogs are his like minions. Why would he want to? He doesn't. Well, we he, doesn't he doesn't know that yet. Yeah. He hasn't felt that yet or took control of them yet. Yeah. He's a empathetic person, much <laughs> much like Kevin Spacey at the beginning of okay, House of Cards. But. <laughs> There's that scene later on where he looks up at the moon and kind of sighs like, oh, fuck. Like, he knows what's coming. So he knows some things. He's drinking in the power of the moon. He's charging up. It's, it's, I think he's always, it's almost like this movie doesn't work. Because the fog, the fog felt blows it. away from the moon, we're told, by the old yeah, guy. Yep. And so then the power of the moon starts filling his battery. I'm just saying this seems like a betrayal of his own kind. To, <laughs> it does. To, to take the right, like yeah. This, you know? to, 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 but maybe and to he's, have no empathy about it. And those are your little like minions, dude. Well, maybe he's having the empathy and, and, getting, and, and putting it out yeah, of its misery. It's mercy, and mercy killing because he hit it. Maybe he felt that power and just like, I need to put one of mine my own out yeah you have nothing that says otherwise Michaela. (laughs) you're doing a lot of homework for this movie you have nothing that says otherwise well this old dude shows up out of the woods when they have hit this uh dog and Uh. this guy is in tattered bloody rags he has gaping wounds (laughs) he's the martin mall of this movie yes and he can barely (laughs) stand up without like flailing all around yeah Yeah. he Pops up periodically to deliver exposition this, uh, and then, fall, like and then falls dead, down. Right? He's just dead. I don't know. He is feels that what dead. Going for he he's feels a ghost? like uh, what's your McCall from Pet Cemetery? Yeah, Pascal. Yeah, yeah. Maybe because the impression is that he has been killed by these uh, well dog attacks. Yes, that's right? what I feel. Maybe, or he's a victim who survived, and he finds them, and he's like, "You're all doomed." He's back he's again, the, and yeah. he's the crazy Ralph of this movie. Yep. Yeah, you're all gonna die when the moon shines again. You're gonna die, and so Abigail goes to sleep that night and has a 25 minute nightmare. Where <laughs> she does <laughs> so yep. long. 
we were not sure if it was a nightmare or right, if it was we actually. Gotta, we ought to wonder if we're supposed to start taking this stuff seriously in her nightmare because, because it, was, it goes on for so long. And it was speeding through the movie, basically. Yes. It was like it already jumped to the third act of the yes. movie. And that's had, what made it confusing. Right. It had gone farther than we were technically, than we could feel yeah. for this movie. Because all like, her fr- she wakes up and all of her friends are dead yeah. or are dying or they've been attacked, yeah. it seems like, by something. Yeah. And so, we, yeah, it felt like we were rushing past and we were just like, Still going, and it is like twenty minutes of this movie. It felt like it because she wakes up and the the busted up old guy is there. Yeah, you know you're doomed. I told you you're right. doomed. And then he chases her around, and then dogs show up, and he's like, "Come out, and we'll you know spare your life." And then she goes to see because uh, she goes around, and like all her friends are hanging around dead, and some of them are dying, and you know basically getting blood all over her clothing. Yeah. and she goes to see Vince. In his room, right, right. And opens the door, and he's sitting in a chair with his back to her. And she goes up, and I think she touches him, and he turns around, and he's a werewolf. And then she wakes up screaming. Yep. Is he? Well, his face is like in shadow, and he has like yellow eyes. Okay, that I was gonna say it isn't much of a werewolf, is it? Okay, much. it doesn't feel like and it because really that would have felt like that would have felt like a uh, 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 thriller. Yeah. Like turn. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. They didn't me. do it. It's not no. executed very well. No, no, no. Uh, direction. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> direction, it is a editing, skill. Yeah. script. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> you can see when it's lacking. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so everything is pointing to, okay, at some point in this movie, Alice Cooper is going to turn into a werewolf. That's where we're it going. It would only make sense yep. based on movies and every music video up until this point. Right. Mm-hmm. But he is basically the hero of the film, right? He's uh, Then they do perform a music video. They scout the whole house out, and then they perform this music video. Yeah. And um, at some point during Which the video... Which is just him holding up a mirror. There is that's that it. moment of it. Yeah. It's part of that's, it. Yeah. She's coming down the yeah, stairs. Yeah, but that's all he and, does in yeah. the video. She's doing other stuff. He's literally standing there holding the mirror the whole eyebrow. time. Well, that's, that's before, before the video. He's getting right. ready. That's yeah, the yeah, getting yeah. ready that's m- getting for ready the video for, montage. Yeah. It's that's called also See Me music. in the Mirror. Yeah. It's a vampire song, but yep. he's not in Vampire Fangs. No. Yeah. It's got a lot of gothic imagery. Yeah. And uh, as uh, Abigail, the actress in the video, is coming down in her flowing white you know, evening, neg- it's not negligee, it's a, it's a, a it's night a dress. dress or whatever, <laughs> uh, sees... Uh, Joss, it turns out Joss is dead and his body comes careening through a, a window mm-hmm. and into and bam onto the floor in the middle of this and they're like, oh God, he's dead. Although yes. I don't think Alice Cooper emotes as much as I did. No. No. Joss. He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> that's what, that's about it. And then yeah. immediately everybody sets about to like, we have to find out uh, what happened upstairs. And like, you got a dead guy. I'm like, maybe you want to call the police or something, but maybe their phone's not uh, working. That's not possible Colin, rich people don't need the police. Money solved their problems. And they're just like, yeah, put him in a closet or something until, don't worry, we'll get, you know, whatever. We'll bring authorities later. Mm-hmm. We'll sleep tonight. Yeah. We'll be fine. You know, sleep. I don't want to sleep dead in, guy in a house with a dead body. No. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, I never. I've seen enough shit where dead bodies don't stay where they're supposed to. <laughs> you know, I've never thought of. About I don't want to be part of that. <laughs> never thought about it. New thing to be afraid of. Yeah, <laughs> no, like, never want. I don't to. ever want to be in the same like building, even if I can. No, help not it. Yeah. not under not a dead bun, dead body under those circumstances. No, I know because you come back and then they're sitting up and you're like, oh yeah. fuck, yeah, no, yeah. what happened? Are Maybe. they in a baseball bat in their throat? Yeah. 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 Yep, so yep. you would think. So this is, uh, I think, uh, Abigail. Uh, freaks out and she's and like fuck it I'm out of here and she does go wander for a while yep. mm-hmm. out outdoors and so yes. Vince now in his Anakin Skywalker costume oh he yes it is it is the he's got, Revenge he's of the got Sith shoulders, shoulder yes. like and he's got yeah. big sleeves yes. and gloves it's got the exact same silhouette like it him does. running around in the woods definitely looked like it does <laughs> parts he needs of Revenge a lightsaber, of the Sith yes. yeah he has, yeah, he has tight to pants chase on, her down. yeah he's yeah. got to chase her down he takes yep. a shotgun Everybody's got shotguns. Of course, you gotta yeah, have shotguns. But That's everyone's weird. afraid to use them. Yeah. Well, yeah, how often no do they go off? The Not very. But I get the idea that like these are supposed to be like the American kids have gone to uh, you know the Spanish countryside, not terribly familiar with like what's going on. And so they are, they're like, we don't know how to use guns. Do you right? think that is a part of this? Like being in a foreign country and all that? Do you think that? Yeah, they're going to his home. Influences. Hometown. Well, I got the impression they were not familiar with weapons sure right i get that but the weapons are there because like i think when you're out in the boondocks like they are it's like you need home defense and so that's why they've got them but these guys are all like okay we don't know how to necessarily use them that's why no they're but they make not much effort to, either yeah 
They won't even like someone has a gun pointed at them and they're not even holding their gun pointed at them. They're, it's pointed at the ground or something. It's like if someone right. has a gun on you. That's when you kick it in here. Because this turns like, into a Western. Yes. Yeah. Who saw that coming? And yeah. nobody, none of them are like in on this. They're just like, you got bad guys coming up with guns. Put your guns on. Them. Yes. Yes. We're alerted turn into to the presence. What? This is like the second half of the movie. We are like, we get gothic movie we and did. then Western. Straight Western. Yep. Which I know, listener, you did not expect this to happen mm -hmm. in uh, a movie called Monster Dog. Right. But it's not even like modern gangsters of the Western. No. It feels like they came right out of an old Western. They, they're, they're like, they're loopers that came from the past. Yeah, they have they, spittoons know. near them all the time. Yeah. They have they the six shooters. Teeth. Yeah, they, they're just, it's they're a grimy. Western gang. Yeah, there's it's a weird. guy wearing a bandolero. Yeah. 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 Uh, these are, well... I was going to say they're bandits, but they're not in they this. Are, they uh, might as well be. Yeah. And we're introduced to them in this shot that comes out of nowhere where I think one of the characters goes to use the phone in order to, to summon help. And we're treated to a guy clipping the wire off of the uh the, A guy the we've never pole. seen before. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, what the fuck yeah. was that? Right. Quick yeah. shot of somebody just happened right now. But Cuts it was blink and you miss it. It was so quick. It was yes, almost felt like an accident. <laughs> it did. And we were a little perplexed. And then we were introduced to these characters. Mm -hmm. These are the, uh, well, town representatives, the pitchfork carrying yeah. members of the anti-werewolf brigade. Yes. Okay. Yes. So the way I understood this, now correct me if I'm wrong. We will. Okay. Uh, the, the the dog attacks used to happen years ago, and okay. then it went away because these guys killed Vincent's dad, mm -hmm. right? Okay. But now the dog attacks have started back up again, and so now they're like, it's him. It's Vincent. He's the reason because he's come back to his ancestral home, even though we're sitting there going like, but wait a second, five people, the right. sheriff said, were killed before he even arrived exactly. on the scene. Yes. And then you're like, is this a werewolf movie or not? How does this work? I still there, don't know. Is there just a gang of roaming dogs killing people looking for their master? Their I alpha, think yeah. That's it, what the old guy tells us. Now that he is back, they will have their power or whatever. Yeah, he yeah. does say something that like effect. that. Yeah, I think there's always a roaming group of dogs who will be killing, and then sometime their master comes back, and they're just like, <gasps> It's a bad problem to have. Can you imagine roaming, living in a town where dogs? a roaming pack of dogs killed five people? Yeah. Imagine that'd if that be happened problem. where we lived. That'd be I horrifying. Know. Yeah. That'd people be would be afraid to leave their house. That'd like, be fascinating yeah. if they were just roaming. Imagine if we treated the turkeys in this town like the roaming <laughs> dogs that kill people. Oh, I would have been murdered a long time ago because they're always in my <laughs> right? yard. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just roaming turkeys. Yeah. And we'd all have shotguns yep. to protect our homes from yep. the roving bands of killer turkeys. I feel like this is already a thing we yeah. do. Yeah. Well, we are in yeah. Illinois. Yeah. Uh, so... Anyway, these these guys uh, hopping out of the off the train from the old west, uh, yes. come up to the villa door, right? <laughs> and they're all villa. like, "Like, yeah, we know Vincent. Why don't you let us in, and we'll all wait for him to come back." Stupid they're, friends. They're standing in this like classic like four point like western lineup position too, like with the lead guy a little bit forward, and then everyone kind of standing back. Oh yeah, it it like this is shot so much like a western. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because they're all wearing like cowboy hats and yeah. stuff. I mean, it's and you know, yeah, yeah they walked out the of the iconography yeah. is Weird. there. And these kids say, "Oh yeah, sure, come on in." Oh yeah, this yep. seems legit. Yep. These kids are stupid. Yeah, yep. very stupid. Because no these guys immediately like point guns at them. This is the aforementioned scene where like uh, the girlfriend gets a drop on one guy, mm -hmm. doesn't shoot him, you know, yeah. and gets the gun taken away from her. Right. Yeah, um, uh, no, shoot him as they're beating everybody up, and then uh, Vincent has to go and find uh, Abigail, who's broken down, out again wandering the, in yeah. her white dress. But he finds her, and he's like, "Okay, let's go back to the house." So they go back to the house and pound on the door, and uh, the bad guys are waiting with a silver bullet, right? For, for right, Vincent. they are going to kill him with a silver bullet. They do mention that. You're correct. So the door opens. Oh, and Abigail is shot in the stomach. Oh, yeah, and then uh, stumbles for a very long time uh, dramatically into, what's her name's arm? Mary Lou's arms? Do we even have, like, a moment of death for Abigail? No. I, no, that's what I was just thinking Because she gets laid down on the couch, then we don't see her again, right? Yeah. I don't think we see her again, right? No. I don't think yeah, so. that's it. Out of the movie. Done. They yeah. they left her at that house? Damn. Yeah, well, I assume the because they leave the door open, 
is it around here that the pack of dogs probably yep. runs into the house yep. and starts tearing Adorably. everybody apart? Adorably. <laughs> they are so excited to be in this house. They're living their best life. I love when they're attacking. What's the guy's name that the two shepherds kind of go after? The sweater? Oh, is it? Uh, Who is that guy? Frank? I think. Sure. Or yeah. one, of the, one of the yeah. expendable yeah. men. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like the two shepherds are, he's got a, like a thick sweater on over like a button down shirt. You can tell the way they shot this scene was they just put a red sweat, like a dyed red, like bloody sweater on him. And the dogs are just ripping the sweater. Yeah. yeah and yeah. I put it, they looks like they're stoked about it. They're having I, the best time. I don't remember this because Alice Cooper was also wearing a sweater over a button down shirt at one point. So I'm just like, who's the other? Was the other guy? It was one of the camera guys or whatever. He had yeah. uh, he had the poofy. Didn't he have the poofy blue jacket? Yeah, was that yeah, yeah. Okay. the and one he who was... like it, heroically like ran out there to, uh, to to face the dog? Yes, yeah. And then uh, so he survived to the to the, when the monster dog showed up. Okay, so so yeah, I guess what <laughs> oh, happens? Oh, you there's a monster dog yeah. in this movie? We there's, are forty well, there, minutes later. <laughs> there is an attack, I guess, by these dogs getting in and attacking yes. the, all the people. But Vincent has to lure the uh, hooligans out of the house. Okay. And then this becomes, because of the location, where, like, this is a Western, you know, one of those uh, toward the end where the hero has to go hide and the bad guys go hunting for him. And there's a whole bunch of, like, ah, I'm ready to shoot you. Oh, it's just you. Let's go. Oh, let's yeah. go try yep. and get him. Yeah, it does happen a couple times. Shotguns to the head. It's like, <gasps> oh. Oh, oh it's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's a hunt. But when a lot Vince, of slow walking through this house. Mm. Yeah. And it was missing a couple of punctuation shots where somebody would stop stepping in the camera and chick, chick. Yeah. 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 Yeah, something. Like we don't get a lot of shotgun cocking. They missed they missed a really sad opportunity for a good joke too when the when the the western gang shows up the bandits and they say is vince here they could have just cut to a wide shot of like the welcome vince banner <laughs> and then cut back and said nope i haven't seen him and it would have been so <laughs> funny i don't know who you're talking about yeah, yeah. <laughs> never, never heard good. never heard of him that would have yes. never, never heard, heard of him that would have been that, that is oh. the western that is the clint eastwood response yeah. like, never heard of him never heard of him <laughs> yeah exactly that's funny <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't i thought for sure they were gonna do it that's saying like because it's funny to say is vince here when there's a gigantic <laughs> banner yeah, in a house yeah, yeah. that says welcome, welcome vince. vince yeah that's funny yeah. i don't think this movie is self-aware <laughs> no but, it not, been so but funny. not that enough but that's funny yeah. that would be like see that's or cutting class uh yeah that's what cutting movie, class like God, understood yeah. that exactly it would have right. done it yeah. you know i bet i could take this, that scene from this movie and edit <laughs> that joke here? in and do an adr of it and make that scene no <laughs> Yeah. 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 He's out. <laughs> um who? Mm-hmm. So uh Vincent doesn't have a problem using his shotgun. Uh he, no, he shoots the dude. shotguns the fuck out of these guys. Yeah. But there there is the implication or it's explicitly said at some point that these guys are the guys who killed his pappy. How what, right? Yep. And we can't judge it based on how he looks. So how old is he supposed <laughs> to be versus his pappy? We can't. Because his pappy's eighty at some point, and this the logic doesn't work out. <laughs> yeah, so, it's like you're the guy that killed my dad. He doesn't even just get like to say that sixty or... years ago. Like, how <laughs> you yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, he shotguns one guy. One guy yeah. gets his head blown off, which was oh, uh, we really like, scalped by a bullet. It's he awesome. Does. Yeah, yeah. Good. the gore effects. But there is also one guy who gets a, a sawed off shotgun to the head and only gets a little bullet, a hole little tiny this. bullet yeah. hole. That so, blood yeah. like it's an hit X-Men. or miss. <laughs> Well, that's like you wonder how this thing was put together. If he was killed by a different character, and then they oh, yeah, cut it together. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. So Vincent's running around the house. He's shooting all the all the bad guys. Of course, he's uh, somehow able to do this because he's been fueled up by the presence of the dogs running into the house. There's a scene. Has he? Is this? I think so. This? Isn't there? Because he like looks at the camera a lot. Alice Cooper does like some glowering shots where there's like these close ups of him. You know, like, like you know, those, like, I know what's going on. Kind of, you know, direct into the lens. Yeah. Things where you're like, okay, this is him powering up. He's powering up because of the moon. He is some kind of uh, dog whisperer, or he's getting his power from the dogs Something. or whatever. Do we know that, do we feel that he is the monster dog at this point? Do we feel like he is the one transforming into the dog that attacks? Even though it is very know. infrequent. Like the, the 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 monster dog doesn't attack enough for me to think that like oh that's Alice Cooper turning into the monster dog to attack. The only scene I feel like I know for sure it's him is the, the when the dog comes through the bedroom door. 
Uh-huh. And then he, th- they walk around the other side of the room and Alice Cooper comes in through the other door. Okay. That's the only one I'm like sure about. Okay. And I, even on that, I was like, yeah. okay, this makes no sense That was whatsoever. a quick transformation, yeah. Yeah, and he got his clothes back on yeah. in order yeah, to yeah. open yeah. the door. But like the, the dog attacks stop when he shows up. So right. it's like, oh, does that mean that he's... But then we find out, I think we were conjecturing at the time that like, well, maybe the dogs aren't attacking because he's somehow... Their master. Uh, well, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I yeah. figured. We do get a transformation. I oh, forgot. I forgot. Okay, okay I'm yeah, sorry. Right, yeah, okay. We'll get there. Okay. So, um, I believe once all the bandits are dead, mm-hmm. shotgunned or uh, torn apart, part by the dogs. Right. Yeah. Um, the only girls that survive. There's three girls left. Right. Girlfriend Abigail and Mary Lou. Okay. Uh, end up. You know, they're all hunkered down with, with Vince. And we're like, okay, we, we got to get out of here. And um, the, But they're, they're going to, to bed. And girlfriend <laughs> wanders out and sees uh, the shot from uh, John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness where there's a silhouetted figure standing in fog in the doorway of the, the, the downstairs, you know, of the, um, the villa. And it's like Alice Cooper is holding court with all these oh, yeah. uh, dogs. Yeah, it's just a bunch of dogs sitting, wandering around, yep. hanging out. This was very walk. abrupt to yeah. me. I was like, okay, so what the yes. fuck is happening? Yep. There he, are abrupt moments in this. Did he hand him a pork chop? Is he the guy? Is he right. somehow? Because, you know, I was like, is does he These even his know? his family dogs or something? Yeah, what the fuck? There's a portrait of his dad on, on the wall with yes. red eyes and yep. a hidden monster dog in the in the bushes. Yep. yep. Um, so clearly the family is a family curse or something. Yes. Um, but yeah, he like welcomes a girlfriend and he's like, or, or Sandra, uh, you know, it's like, yeah, no, look, they're, they're, I don't know what's happening. They're all docile all of a sudden. And, you know, sure enough, they're all uh-huh. wagging their tails and mm-hmm. everything. And following the actors and they shouldn't. Yeah. 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 Getting up to go. It's yep. like, oh, it's <laughs> yep. um, he's done. Yeah. Yep. He's done enough. <laughs> so they determine that they're going to escape from the night of hell. Sure. Manner. Now they determine they're going to escape. Yes, and they use the uh, the bandits' car, but they have to get the keys, so they have to go right, back. They have to go back house. and search the bodies, right? Which I don't recall anything dramatic happening nope. there, or maybe no. that's where I went. To she take found the keys. Yep, and they're like, mm-hmm. "Okay, we're leaving." Yeah. Oh no, they left Mary Lou in the car. Okay, this is what all happened. Right, okay. right, yeah, yeah. So yeah. all three of them that's get in the right. car. Mary right. Lou's in the back, right, and then right, they're right. like, "Okay, we got to go back in and get the keys. Don't worry, you'll be fine." She's like, "You're not going to leave me out here alone." Yeah. And they come back, they get with the keys, start the car, and drive off. Yep. Woo! We made it! Yeah, thank God that's over. <laughs> Mary Lou! Yep. She's dead. Dead. Like, yep. Holy fuck, she's dead Throat. in the car. Gone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then a giant fucking monster dog <laughs> is in the backseat of the giant- car. <laughs> right! Somehow they missed this. Yep. Completely. Giant <laughs> monster. Got her. Yes. Giant so wait, then there the has backseat. to be two then. Well, the, yeah, I guess that's where we're going, trying to figure out what the fuck, because I cannot answer Alice this. Cooper's Don't driving. force this into the narrative that you uh, that you hate, yeah. Michaela. <laughs> so what's happening here? Alice Cooper's driving, yeah. Sandra's in the passenger seat, and the monster dog's attacking Alice Cooper, so there has to be two. Why is there two? Well, see, my thing is, he was not a monster dog at this point. Okay. Right? It's because he's- But get, he's got he, the power over the dogs. Yes. But he does, yeah, he gets bit in the He gets bit in this the scene. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the car crashes, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. uh, um, Sandra's able to jump right. out, and the car crashes. <laughs> right. She falls okay. out in a bad stunt. Jumps yeah. out. Okay. It's a bad stunt. Yep. And then we see the, the car that's also bad. It's flipped over, and some stagehand right, is yeah, rocking we never, it a little We bit. never see the actual accident in this movie, because it's a cheap yeah. movie. And, and, it's just, and there is a, oh, the sound of a oh. shotgun blast. But Sean, isn't yep. this the point when that old guy popped up and said, like... He does pop up again. Yeah, he popped up, and didn't he say, like... Now, what he said something along the lines of like your dad bit m- my dad or bit me or something. See, he said bit me, I think. Yeah, and said the like I knew you'd always come back, and now I need to get vengeance. It was he had all vengeance. Yeah, I don't. I can't. That kind of came out of nowhere. I can't yeah. track him. Yeah, yeah. Is, well, that would mean that the old guy is the monster dog. That's why he's all that disheveled. Why he's yeah. all yeah. Yeah. Around. Yeah. He is yeah. the werewolf. Yeah. Okay, so he's doing this for revenge up, yeah. up until this point. It's revenge werewolf bites. Yeah. Okay. Because your dad bit my yeah. dad. I'm right. trying to figure out how the pack of dogs fits into this. Uh, you just have control of them. Yeah, but why? But, but so did he like steal them away from I, well, the old I think guy the li- werewolf? I, well, I think the lineage allows him to also have power over them 
while the old guy also has power over them. Maybe that's so I think it, there's a fight. Vince is like he's doggy royalty. Okay, yeah, he's, so, yeah, he's the right. lineage where the dogs are and just like the, the dogs would normally attack returned. him, but then they find him. They're like, oh. We but okay, you. but then, 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 then we know this, your father. Hey, but then this movie is saying that werewolfism is both genetic and can be spread yes. through yes. bite. Yes. It did not land the trailer for that at all. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. okay so, all right. That's a problem. All right. And I have a question here. Okay. Because yeah, because you're right. Because Alice Cooper then should be a werewolf guy. Yes. He shouldn't need to get bit if it's if his dad was a werewolf and he's part of this bloodline. Right. Right. So help you're me right. out. You're right. He shouldn't here. have to. Yeah. Be bit. So he yeah. should. Oh, right. So he should also be the monster dog. Yeah. Is but he no. a good monster dog? Like when he does turn the monster dog? I don't think so because no. either. Okay, so 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 he's been bit. Car goes over. Old guy shows up. So now we're saying old guy is the monster dog that right. bit, even though you can just yeah. change yeah. willy nilly. Doesn't matter the right. moon or whatever. Yep. 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 So what happens to him? Because I did step out of the room at this well, moment. He popped so. up and grabbed her and info dumped that, and then it cut away. So right? we never see what happened to him. I don't remember seeing what happened to him. Because I thought the Let's shotgun ADR was that, uh, you know, Alice Cooper had shot. But well, he pops up the, after that, doesn't he? Yeah, he, sh- he pops up after that. Yeah, yeah, so I don't, I think that the, the shot is just like some random, just like, oh, something's happening. He's just like, you're doomed, and he runs away into the bushes again. Yeah, because yeah, I don't, because you left, but I don't think you missed it. Okay. No. You didn't miss anything that No, big. you just missed that info dump, and yeah. then... I feel like it cut away because I remember us both being like, wait, what just happened? Like that scene was felt very out of context. But this movie, all this, this whole movie feels out of context. Yeah. So it's hard to tell what's what. Yeah. So then Sandra approaches. She goes to find Vince. He's all torn up and he's like, get away from me. And we're like, oh, we know what's happening now. And he's like, take the shotgun and kill me. Oh, yeah. Because I said uh, the fly did it better. And yep. then he starts wolfing out. And we've waited oh. an entire <laughs> movie. Uh, potatoing for out. Yeah. This. He turns into <laughs> yeah, a potato. very skinny, a very anemic werewolf With a really small like. face. A really Real small, small face. face. <laughs> like he shrinks down into yeah. a werewolf. He's a wiry instead of guy. expanding yeah. into a big werewolf, yeah. is what I feel like. And yeah. it doesn't work so well. No. I mean, Not the only all. thing they have at some point, it's like it's Alice Cooper in some makeup, which doesn't look yes. too bad for and, first oh, no. stage. Oh, there's Alice Cooper in a mask rolling around. There was a just, oh, that was just a, bad a one. mask. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At some point. Yeah. But yeah. the first one where it was just Alice Cooper yes. with, you know, a little extra fur on his face. Yeah. Or whatever. yeah, like, yeah. Rawr, rawr. That I'm was like, cool. This is what he's lived his entire <laughs> life to yeah. be a werewolf in a movie. And he's writhing around on the ground. And the next thing we see is a cut to. Puppet latex head that doesn't look anything like him. Like he came from another no. movie. Yeah. yeah, no, it yeah. is nothing like an actual transformation. And there's like a little bit of a snout, but the but the features of the face are so small, and the head is like comical. Yeah, yeah. and then it's like a small African child turned into a werewolf. <laughs> and at some point, <laughs> one maybe. of those starving ones. That, that uh, I was thinking they... it had like more of like kind of like a like rodenty type face. It does. Because right. it, yes, it's, it's so it, small. It, almost, yeah. it is almost radish. You're yeah. right. And at some point, uh, Alice Cooper maybe is wearing this mask with this extended snout. Yeah. And then he sits up into the camera, like foreground with her with the shotgun. And then it's like, okay, that's the monster dog puppet head. Yeah. So now this is the monster dog and she blows him away. Mm-hmm. Well, we don't. I don't think see the. She, we see her pull the trigger and maybe. Yeah. And then maybe a cut of him falling down, but never. We don't actually see the monster. Yeah, really. We never good. get like a look at it. Nothing good. Mm-hmm. No, because we were waiting for a real good look at it. We get it. I think once when he bursts through something, and that's it. Yeah. That is the only good look at this thing we get in this movie. And even that's not a good look. No, I mean, no. it's very yeah. quick. Yeah, very they're quick. like, oh, there's too much light, and so you can see a lot. Right. Yeah. 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 It's a brightly lit no, room. No, we don't so. get it much in this movie. Mm-hmm. And then uh, uh, Sandra, uh, yeah. racked with the guilt and uh, the cosmic horror of what she's just done, turns toward the camera. Yeah. And uh, walks towards us. And then all of a sudden the movie cuts to a fucking music video. And we Ah. see replays of scenes that we've seen. It's a clip show. Yeah, yeah. From the movie. Why? Now, what What do you think is the impetus for this? Like, run do you time. think we, we didn't run yeah. time? We didn't give them enough. So we have to end it on a good note. Run time. And we have to use this song twice. 
Yeah, that's yeah. what it feels like. It's identity crisis. The yeah. reprise. Yeah, I, f- I feel like we're making this, up for something in this. Some of the same music video clips too is the first time we saw it. Yeah. And in addition to just random clips of the movie, it's like the Seinfeld clip shows. Yeah. 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 It's not a good way to go out. No. Nope. It doesn't offer any kind of closure or give you any kind of insight. No, it's into, just a well. Okay. Yeah. Here's the song again. If yeah. anything, I would argue it's hurting the movie because it's forcing me to think about this movie more, which yeah, is not yeah. helping. No, I need to forget better, this movie. Yeah. yeah, it would have been better if we were just like, all right, let's get out of this. Mm-hmm. I know. I was go. expecting them to put up like the cast names or something like, here's right. Greg, something here's over. Yeah, that would have been better just yeah. to give us some notification of like, all right, what are what are we doing right now? Nope. Are right. we done? Then just cuts to the credits. It's like, oh, no, we are done. No, we're done. All right, we're well, done. and we're done. Good we're night, done. guys. Yeah, yep. and we're, we're done. done. Okay, but uh, we've established, I think, a precedent here that uh, <laughs> by, I think so. By listening to this show after five hundred and something episodes, and if you've come this far, then uh, if we recommend a movie, you are contractually obligated to watch it. Yes, we've looked over the. And if we don't recommend, you can never watch it. Ooh, that's that, the flip yeah? side of that. Oh, okay. yeah, that's the dark side they don't no. tell you about. Like, oh no! If we oh, a unanimous, <laughs> but that's going to change. Unanimous. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Unanimous. Yeah. All right. As long as it's a unanimous. Freak show unapproved. Okay. Yeah, unapproved. I agree with that. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. And it's like fine. illegal to watch it, so don't don't watch oh, it. Oh yeah. shit! All right. But how is Igor? Look out of Washington. Is this true? All right. Well, we're going to find out if you're obligated to watch Monster Dog. Stick around. We're going to review this movie individually. But before that, Igor is going to bring us our mail. Igor. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Did you know he's the horror representative in Congress? <laughs> oh, so Senator Igor? So yeah, well, he's yeah. not, he's a special, he's not, he has no official title. Oh, I guess he represented Igor right now. Uh, yeah, he, yeah. Well, he's a special, uh, what do they call him, uh, uh. Uh, consultant, lobby. special Lobbyist? consultant. Oh. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, yeah, the lobbyist for the horror community. Maybe that's why we don't get too much <laughs> attention at the Oscars and shit. Yeah, yeah. He's not he's doing just, a great job. Yeah. Maybe, maybe or... it's uh, time for him to work right. more behind the scenes. On I that. think yeah. so. He, well, he's not be the, the face. Yeah, he's a special assistant. Yeah. in these matters, he's just not been there for a couple of years. Yeah, because he's been assisting us. Because yeah. uh, we keep him employed by you guys sending us uh, your mail. True. And how can they do that on Facebook? Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show or on Twitter at Sat Freak Show. Or by email. Saturday Night Freak Show, Yahoo.com. Or on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Mm-hmm. So about uh, tonight's movie, uh, Monster Dog, yes. MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show, Wall of Fame, wants us to know that we have inducted... The dog? I'm kidding. <laughs> somebody. <laughs> that puppet. <laughs> that from puppet. The puppet's movie. been used in three other movies. The cameraman in this movie. <laughs> oh, wow. Same uh, thing. Deep. All right, same That's thing. That's deep in the hallway. Yeah, it was, uh, this is Jordan, oh. right? Who I believe was wearing the blue uh, jacket. Oh, okay. Got okay. torn okay. apart by the... So his name is Emilio Linder, a uh, Spanish actor, was also in, I guess, the other Spanish movies that we watched. But, okay, so he was in Pieces, right? Yes. The, the yes. Immortal Pieces. He Tombs of the, the Blind. <laughs> Uh, no, Damn right, it. that's the other yeah. one. Uh, slugs. Uh, and now that slugs. I say it, do you remember his big scene? He was a little older, four years after this, in the restaurant. Because he was the guy. Oh, who was ate. he the guy yeah. that ate the slugs? Yeah. <gasps> that was him? That was him. Oh, that was. And they exploded out yes. of his brain. Yep, I remember that. In the <laughs> restaurant, yeah. Oh, no. I don't remember that part of Slugs. You don't remember that? Oh, Slugs oh, I remember great. liking that Do movie you remember the sex scene and they fell in the pile of Slugs? <laughs> yes. They rolled off the got, bed yeah, and she yeah, couldn't yeah, get up. Yeah. She's like, yeah. ah! She yeah, couldn't yeah, yeah. get up from a pile she of slugs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bloody. Yeah, yeah. slugs yeah. was a good one. That was slugs a good one. Was a good one. That yeah, was a good one. Uh, Travis Legler writes in and says, "Holy shit, Alice Cooper had a starring role in a movie." I have to tell my aunt; she's just as fanatical <laughs> about him as I am about ACDC. This alone makes me want to see this. There you go. Awesome. Uh, Michael Whitaker says, "Question." How in the hell can this movie look 10 years older than Rock and Roll Nightmare? Yeah, I know. It does. It really does. It does. It looks cheaper, too, than Rock, Rock and Roll Nightmare. Nightmare. Yeah, which was 87, yeah. if I remember. Yeah. And this is yeah. going for a gothic look. And we he's commenting on a, on a photo that we posted, so sure. who knows yeah. what the source of that was. But um, last week, we watched a movie called Cutting Class. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mark Harrison says, I'm surprised this film didn't blow up after Brad Pitt's fame started, like how Party at Stud and Kitties got re-released after Rocky was successful. Oh, yeah, well, yes, about that. yeah, yeah, I'm that's sure, true. I'll bet if you go back, there was a re-release 
of cutting class. I am sure there well, was a there was a big there was a bigger moment for cutting class. I'm sure. No, we're it's going to happen now that we've talked about it. Yeah, this is how this. this I mean, that does happen. But us. well, I think sure Alamo Draft House is going to talk about how great it is. But next didn't week. Uh, what year? Because we were saying cutting class didn't actually come out until '89, but it was yeah. made. Like eighty seven or something, and yeah. Thelma and Louise was what ninety one. So, yeah. I, well, however, I oh, remember right. it. Yeah, I remember right. Brad Pitt being on the the video right. box cover, but maybe uh. I'm sure I had a research. Uh, Peter Gatt says, Colin, why did it take so long for your opinion of Cutting Class? It's Citizen Kane compared to Slaughterhouse Rock. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes. It well, is. you might be right. Yeah, I think that was well the comparatively. Thing. Yeah, yeah, comparatively, humor but doesn't always hit with Colin. That's, that's why. also true, but I think. <laughs> Uh, you know, because I have talked with other people who have seen Cutting Class okay. since we recorded that oh, episode. Oh, okay, good. And they both told me that they went into the movie thinking that it was a horror movie and really did not like it. And I think uh, when no. we watched it last week, that's what I was afraid of. I'm gotcha. like, does this movie work? But we here, I think, got the vibe that yeah. that movie was right. on. Even if you go into it expecting horror movie, you should be able to change your... The lurker. I mean, the first time yeah. you see the lurker, like, that should really... Like, okay. yeah. you can't, at a certain point, you can't expect it for the rest of the movie. Yeah, but that right. movie, that's what I'm saying, it's so deadpan it, 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 that I think it, like <laughs> people sucked, don't get it the same way. And then right on the edge. I was I was looking up, I'm like, okay, was this movie intended to be yeah. a comedy? Uh-huh. And the impression I got was that nobody on the cast liked Rospo Pallenberg, uh, and he was like a non-entity. So then you're like, well, then who was, was, was everybody was just doing say, whatever yeah. the fuck they wanted? Right. Yeah. If he's a non-entity, then how do we get Well, non-entity the- as far as like he didn't really have strong directorial yeah. uh, you know, direction, I guess. But then how do we get the singularness? singularness yeah. the writer, of this I think, movie. I think it's the writer because remember we talked about the writer created Salute Your Shorts and wrote a bunch of like teen kid comedy stuff later on. So like, I think it came from the Roswell writer. Was Palmer playing it straight though then in his directing? I'm, I mean that I'm, guy wasn't Donovan so, yeah. was I'm just so, so yeah. curious yeah. about this movie. Yeah. This yeah. movie. I'm so curious about how know, we need to, the we, tone yeah. came together <laughs> for that movie. Sean you're going to have to shell out for that out of print Blu-ray. I think Maybe because so. uh, damn I'm interested. Yeah find out. Because apparently Roswell Pellenberg has like an interview on that disc, but he talks about like his entire career of walk, working oh, with John ew. Borman and then oh. eventually cutting class. Yeah. Sure. Oh. Um, Joey Blythe says, uh, I wasn't able to find this, but I do have a DVD with the dark side of the sun, which was Brad Pitt's original first role. Huh. I think it was like a Yugoslavian co-production. Oh, wow. That was made in 1988. as a drama. Well. Uh, I'm, cur- I'm Wait, what's curious, it but... Uh, the Dark Side of the Sun. And now when you look that one up, it has Brad Pitt's of head course. Uh, gigantic on it. Is it a movie about... Okay, I have to look this up. I may have seen this movie. Does it have Brad Pitt in it? That would be I your think indicator. So. Well, yeah, okay. I think so. Uh, Scraw793 says... Um, oh, we were talking about uh, Donovan Leach's uh, look in the yes. movie. Yes, his very distinct look. And uh, Scraw793 says he does look like he was going for the Rick Mayall look. Yeah. Rick Mayall is, uh, he was um, uh, Drop Dead Fred. Oh, That's how we would know him. Yes. Yeah, yes, 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 he yes, really yes. does. Yeah, he's yes. Got the, yeah. yeah. Cobwebs. Yes. Oh, and uh, Aaron Dawn Murphy's mom wants to know that although we had identified uh, Donovan Leach Jr. as the son of Donovan the yep. singer, he is also Ioni Sky's brother. Really? There you go. We missed huh. that one. Yep. Hollywood is so such a small group of people, know, isn't it? Small, yeah. You got to be in that club. <laughs> yep. Uh, the week before that, we watched a movie called Slaughterhouse Rock. Sure and did. Adam Kaler says, I didn't realize how awesome it would be if the freak show crew could act out a scene <laughs> from each movie they review on the podcast. And I wonder... Who would have gotten to play Nick Cage in Vampire's Kiss? <laughs> well, we we'd all would, would have had to take different scenes in that one. I, I think, think so. Yeah. I don't think. Well, we someone could have jumped up on the bar and said, "There you are!" Like he did. In that movie. <laughs> 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 Am I getting through to you? Alba. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one day. This, yeah. The bar is not tall enough for yeah, any yeah, jumping yeah. upon. And you know, I go I, sometimes ceiling. I just feel a scene and I feel like we need to relive it, and that's sure, where we reenact yeah. things. But yeah, it, it, whatever we relate to most. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. I like no it. scenes from Monster Dog. It. No, there wasn't enough dialogue to yeah. do like, yeah. a scene with. <laughs> no. I can stand brooding in the corner while you blow a fog machine around me if you want, but like it's not good for a podcast. <laughs> yeah, you know? that's true. 
All right. Well, I mean, for, I, for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you all very much again for writing in. We really appreciate it. And you're keeping Igor from his duties at the Oscars. You, you are, are in Congress. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dark Side of the Sun. Uh, traveling in search of a cure for a rare skin disease, a man finds freedom and love along the way. That's uh, Brad Pitt's. Dark did you see like sun. one of the IMDb header images is like him shirtless and it's like rippled abs. It's like they know how to market this movie now. From that movie? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. That's like the images that flip oh, by on the top okay. of the IMDb. He was yeah, also was in 21 Jump Street the year yeah. before that. Oh, shit. And Freddy's Nightmares. And Freddy's something. Nightmares. Mm-hmm. Apparently, yeah. Um, all right. Well, now we're going to go around the table and tell you whether or not you are contractually obligated to watch Monster Dog, starting with me. Huh. <laughs> Is this one worth watching? Is it worthy enough? Ah. Uh... <sighs> I think my hesit- hesitancy says no, but there are some interesting things in this. I think comparatively, and that's where I always come from, uh, comparatively to other things we've seen, I don't think I can recommend this movie because you can get this, I think, in other movies. You can get better dog uh, monster movies, as we've seen on this show. You can get better haunted house movies. I mean, even Spookies does this in basically the same house. <laughs> Basically, does a better job than this. Um, it's. I don't know about that. Uh, I mean, I'll go. I'll, I'll go to bath for spooky. Do you not remember when the dude just jumped through a door? Like, I remember that being two stories that made no sense. But we all recommend it. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, it's it's uh, it feels like an anomaly, but it's not. It's not enough for me to recommend it. It's kind of. Not disorienting, but I don't get a, feel like there's a straight narrative. I don't know. It's it's not enough for me. Like there needs to be more to it. Like it feels like a really long music video, and I like Alice Cooper. I like his aesthetic. Um, I I you know I I like the 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 fucking three tons of fog that are in this movie. Like it's got certain appeal to it, definitely. Um, <sighs> would I watch it again or would I recommend it to you? I don't think so. There's not enough in it for me to give it. To you, I mean, you could find more in uh, any Alice Cooper music video, I think, or eh, most other horror movies from back in the day. So I'm gonna pass on Monster Dog. Is that okay? Monster Dog. <laughs> I'm gonna pass on Monster Dog. It, it's a it's a unique, interesting thing, but I'm yeah, uh, not enough there. So I'm gonna pass on it. Unique. Okay. So. I, th- I think <laughs> I think in in, in its Alice Cooper. Mm. In involvedness okay, i think yeah. there is a uniqueness yeah. because i've never gotten to stare at alice cooper for an hour and a half seeing how he does in a movie you know what i mean how do you do in a movie he's not the problem uh i don't think it's hard to tell when it's not even his voice yeah, you it's, know? It's, like it's, it's, yeah it's hard to tell and it is uh yeah that's the other thing it is it is dubbed and yeah there's a lot going on mm-hmm. here again interesting but not enough michaela yeah, I. This should be a hidden gem, and it's not. It should and that's be, what's right? frustrating. It should be. Yeah, like the like you tell me Alice Cooper and werewolf movie, and like that's all I need to know. I'm sold. I'm buying a ticket. I'm probably gonna love it because I have like a very low threshold for enjoying werewolf movies. But yeah, this movie's just incompetent top to bottom, and just n- not all the pieces are there to complete the puzzle. And I don't think and it's just, never called just a werewolf movie because it's not. No, it's not. It's not, not a werewolf, werewolf movie. movie. It's it's not even a good like you were saying we've watched better dog attack movies even yes, you know like yes. we've done a lot Dracula's of animal dog attack dog movies with yeah fred <laughs> dracula yeah <laughs> and mike dracula. Dog. mike dracula i forgot about dracula dracula <laughs> motors don't you remember i was th- i was thinking man's best friend when i was thinking <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah 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 at least he eats a cat in that yeah movie. that yeah, man's something. best friend's great yeah um it's just it's boring and slow and it's incompetent and so cheap so so cheap. It's too bad that some this money isn't in better. this with yeah. the gore and the a, dog would have been real good. A big budget Alice Cooper werewolf movie would be awesome, and a I would love it. Bigger budget, at least give them the budget, like the effects budget you'd have on like some yeah. music video. Or something. Yeah, yeah, these yeah. other Italian horror movies yeah. of the time. Right. At least, if nothing like, else, the other Italians right. are just like, well, uh, we have right. nothing else to throw blood in this thing. Exactly, and, <laughs> and there's, we don't get just, that much. It's not even like a charming movie. Like sometimes low budget movies are kind of charming because they're earnest about it, and this just feels like really thrown together and really sloppy and careless you know it it feels careless it feels like they yeah. just don't care about making a good product i don't know how i feel about other italian movies but yeah being dubbed yeah it's harder to be charming when yeah you're not, you don't feel That's like true. you're getting the character sometimes yeah. but 
uh, why did, this feels like a subgenre that doesn't exist anymore either of like the crossover movie where like a musician or somebody gets a movie based around their like kind of stage persona mm. right like we have musicians acting in movies but they're just being actors they're not being like the, a version of themselves or something bring that back I want to see like a horror <laughs> movie crossover with some I don't know or Harry Styles you're gonna get Will Smith who yeah. visits his ancient ancestral castle no, I don't want that. Okay. I don't want that. No. No, no. I want... No, thank you. I need more of like a theatrical kind you... of stage presence. You know, like he's too normal to make a movie about. You know what I'm saying? I need yeah. someone Rob in like the Zombie. metal scene. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was in that uh... fucking Internals movie as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. It was just like, it wasn't helping. No. Um, I forgot he was in Dunkirk. Oh, yeah. 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 But he also doesn't do anything in that movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. exactly. So, pass on Monster Dog. I'm disappointed. Colin, what'd yeah. you think? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not good. Mm -hmm. uh, Unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, I had seen it years ago and on VHS way back in the day, and didn't like it. And the reason I saw it was because it had Alice Cooper in it, and so I it's think I was Mastodon. part of the uh, yeah. yeah. I'm like Alice Cooper in a horror movie. This is the kismet. concept is there right. and great. Yeah, but uh, Claudio Fragrasso, I mean, he made Troll Two, the worst movie ever made. Right. You know, according so, to what, what uh, were we yeah. So, um, and, and and watching that movie, uh, worst movie ever made, is uh, kind of interesting because like he thinks that Troll Two is a good movie, and finally people are understanding. <laughs> so I'm like, when we were Very talking Tony about of him, yeah. yeah, when we were yeah. talking about like you know like uh, oh, so that means that you know you know what was happening there at the end with the old guy and he was the werewolf and all this other stuff, Claudio Fragrasso. So sitting there going like finally they understand my mood you know uh, they they got it uh it's like oh. where we're sitting there going like this is movies just perplexing is it better than slaughterhouse rock the only thing i can say in this one is mm -hmm. a it has alice cooper in it and b it i could follow it more than slaughterhouse rock but we're basically saying it's in that same category of cheap ass uh you yeah. know badly made badly produced but not bad enough but not bad enough to be fun i yeah. think that was it it was it was too uh you know it, it's trying to build quote-unquote suspense by drawing scenes out but there's never that sense uh that you have of uh investing in the characters in order for it to actually work yeah you know and Alice Cooper is a stage performer. Like, uh, so I'm watching him and I'm like, okay, so this guy is, you know, probably if anybody in the cast, I assume is the been around cameras and the public, you know, right. the most. Right. And sometimes that doesn't translate very well. Right. You know, they, they're like, they perform in front of stages and then, you know, oh, arenas yeah, of people. Way, yeah. Way different than being like Shh, right there. Yeah. Once you put a camera on them, they, they and I kind of maybe <laughs> got that a little bit that like, he's not a very animated performer. Yeah. Um, and he's, he's dubbed, so it's just kind of like, okay. He's, he's like Stallone and Rocky doing the commercials, right. like, hey, yo. Yeah. You want to smell good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's uh, stoic, and I guess that's what his character is calling for. And so there's not much of a personality there, except yeah. I guess that, you know, uh, the appeal of it is seeing Alice Cooper basically being a normal guy uh for most of you know for an hour and a half and uh for all intents and purposes from what i read on this movie like all the the cast is you know would talk about like how alice cooper had like no ego was basically just hanging out and he was like a really nice guy he does yeah. seem like a good dude <laughs> um i guess the same couldn't be said for uh uh victoria vera or whatever uh, she was she was the diva of the, uh, the set um but yeah i mean it's uh I think if you make a promise to me that we're watching a monster dog, I'm like, okay, it's a werewolf movie. There's going to be some kind of monster dog driving the plot or some kind of thing. And in this movie, you're not going to get that. It's no. just, it's, it's practically non-existent. And yeah. the plot just goes like, what? He's the master of dogs. And then he gets bit by a werewolf and kind of half ass turns into one at the end. They didn't even have the special effects budget. <laughs> so you're disappointed there. I mean, there's like no real you're redeeming like, That's a monkey. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like, not a wolf. Yeah, it's a big piece of plastic or plastic, or, you know, and, and rubber. Um, no, it was uh, it was bad. Uh, this is a bad movie. Uh, stay far away. I think this is uh, you're contractually obligated to never watch Monster so. Dog. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. Too bad. It is too bad. It's I know because uh, I mean, you fared you better than Freddy's it. Dead. He was in right, uh, yeah, yeah. Dark Shadows yeah. as, as Alice Cooper in Wayne's World. That was right. probably everybody's going to remember his movie performance from Wayne's World. Yeah, yes. it's a good one. It's one scene and it's entertaining. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs>
Um, he, he he can do it. That's what it I got signed when I around <laughs> Alice Cooper. That's what I got signed when I met him. I got that yeah. scene from Wayne, a screenshot of that scene from Wayne's World signed yeah. by him. Yep. Should have brought him in the VHS of Monster Dog, <laughs> the clamshell, from Trans World right. Inter- Entertainment. Um, all right, next week we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by Sean. What are we watching next week? Summer has come to an end. It, indeed, it has. And so I think we need to celebrate by racing off into the sunset oh. while also affirming Sylvester Stallone's claim on the wall. So we will be watching Death Race 2000. All right. All right. <laughs> We're going to do it. Uh, an, an official firm <laughs> episode oh, okay. on this because we did kind of one before. Yeah. We Very long ago, it was the yeah. driving episode. Gotcha. But this movie needs an official episode. And so next All week right. we will do it. Have Roger Corman's. It? I've never seen it. Ooh, yeah. yay. I was hoping people hadn't <laughs> yeah. seen this. And even if even if a uh, Holly has seen this, it's been a long time. I, yeah. I feel I'm sure. so. Yeah. We're All in for right. a treat. All right. And hopefully you can you can find it. We'll find it somewhere. <laughs> it will be found. If I remember correctly, that was a difficult one to turn out. I mean, the, maybe the Blu-ray is way way out of yeah, print yeah, yeah. and no longer findable. Okay. But we'll we'll track it down yeah, somehow. Yeah, we'll, we'll find it. And we'll watch it next week. All right. Next week, Death Race 2000 on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. Not the Jason Statham one. No, fuck that. No, this Death is the race. old one, yeah. Roger Corman. Allegedly, it's on Tubi. Oh, oh hey, okay. Hey, you gotta love Tubi. Our old friend Tubi. <laughs> our old friend Tubi. <laughs> so it's not on that monster channel or whatever we had to watch 50 minutes of oh, commercials for. Jesus Christ, yeah. That, there's, <laughs> I mean, there is three other streaming services here listed that I've never heard of. Oh, shit. Are you familiar with Filmsy? No. <laughs> It's it's uh, Death Race 2000's on it. So <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Next week. Yeah. All right. Well, we're watching it somehow. Next week, uh, and we hope you'll join us. And until then, boils and ghouls, the basement is going dark.